Hi everybody, my name is Moon. I'm one of the streamers over at DSS Enterprises and this is my Vault Box story. This is so weird. I've never done this before. This is weird. Um, <sighs> Leading up to the day, I did some push-ups. Only about two. Um, I went on live and kind of uh, hyped up the event. I. No one really took it seriously. Everyone thought it was just gonna be another event. And uh, I just had a feeling yesterday just felt different. I woke up, I knew yesterday was going to be the biggest day in my breaking career. We started streaming at 6 p.m. It was around 11 p.m. when we hit it. It almost felt like, uh, you know, we were watching a, a, a movie, you know. What did the public scene think about this? Uh, the public scene, it was, it was kind of weird how once he started yelling on whatnot, all of a sudden everybody in the neighborhood and a few bars came by and they were banging on the window and then the police were called because there was all this confetti going everywhere and they were, you know, trying to get Moon arrested because they weren't invited and they found out it was for coins and 16 of them left, two stayed, but they only stayed because they thought it was free coins. It was pretty fucking crazy. I mean, I thought Moon was gonna have a fucking heart attack. He went, he went crazy. I'm pretty sure he shit himself a little bit. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Thrasher passed out. He was over here, he fell out of his chair. I think he almost fell on Bunny. He couldn't believe it either. He was sitting here the whole night supporting. Um, Thrasher ripped a few boxes as well, but um, it was nice to have the whole team here supporting each other um during that whole process but i think thrasher was more excited than i was to be honest <laughs> it was a bloodbath there was rioting in the streets it was awful my phone was blowing up. CNN even called me and wanted to do a live interview about this beautiful coin. Um, everybody took their listings off of eBay. Um, the box, it just, it was over. And that's on to the next one. I tried to make it home. I couldn't. There were so many people out there. They were all mad about that. About the vault box. Why would somebody be mad about that? I don't even know anything about coins. <laughs> After we hit this coin, vault box series three cut in half because this was the chase. Unfortunately, with breaking products, once the biggest hit gets pulled, things do drop off because there's not as big of a chase anymore. Um, so I'm sorry, market, but we did <laughs> kind of crash Vault Box Series 3. But at least it, pull, it got pulled. People know now Vault Box has bangers and now they're probably gonna buy more next time. I lost my voice after the first coin. And as you can tell today, it's struggling. Could lose my voice forever but at least i did it doing something i love uh it looks like it got shot by a clown like they picked out like a confetti gun and literally just like went straight ballistic on everything in this place um the the, the vacuuming there was nooks and crannies i didn't even know existed i swear to god there were cards that in between the cards had confetti in them i mean it was uh there had to have been probably 20 pounds of confetti i mean it's crazy the cannon was something that started when we were breaking sports cards. 
Um, I think it just is something that's kind of become iconic to the brand when we rip. And uh, last night we went through three cases of cannons. So that was crazy. One of the cannons even shot in my mouth. I'm pretty sure it was Yorn. Right. I couldn't tell. It was either Yorn, Dave, or Thrasher. I think it was Thrasher. Definitely malicious intent. <laughs> they were trying to injure me. Get me out of the game, coach. Didn't know we were going to have to uh, outsource to a bunch of, uh, a bunch, like a clan of janitors had to come and help us clean. It was uh, exhausting. It's uh, 6 p.m. at night. And my fake watch tells me that we are not even done cleaning just yet. Uh, but good for the guys who open coins, I guess. Send my man BQ some love. Can we do a chat one time? 1881 trade dollar, please. Or a 1909S, something off that list. Come on. One time. Good luck, BQ. <laughs> oh, oh my God! We did it! We did it! Oh my God, that's a Tesla! That's a Tesla! That's a Tesla! Oh my God! <laughs> That's a Tesla! Oh my god! Oh my god! No freaking way! Only on DSS I won that! Let's go, PQ! Wow! Oh my god! We started the stream yesterday with over 200 people and held a room of two to 400 people the whole night. It was just... It was crazy. The The turnout was crazy. Tons of red cores were hit. The first box and the last box were red cores. Um, everyone seemed to have a great time. I think there was a lot of laughs. Um, it was nice. One of the first times ever on Whatnot, I felt like we were in that prime time spot. So I had a lot of fun with it. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm rocking today is a show your slabs slab holder with a beautiful 28 karat gold chain. Probably worth $10 billion, I don't know, but it's very nice. Um, this is the real ticket though, the Tesla, the coin itself. This is the beautiful iconic 1881 trade dollar in proof 64. When we broke the box, I just had a feeling as you, if you've watched the playback, you heard me say, um let's see an 81 trade dollar and uh when i ripped it i had to make sure it was the real coin and it only took me a few seconds and i just lost it i just could not believe it was right in front of me i mean i've been ripping product now for over two years and never hit something to this capacity so to get that big hit is what all breakers strive for in their lifetime of breaking and when it happens it's just so magical you know and then from that moment forward, that all we could talk about was this coin right here. There was so many hits. Uh, one of the hits, we hit a nice seated dollar. Um, there was a couple really nice Morgan dollars, a couple really nice Stan and Liberty quarters that were hit. Um, this year's Vault Box product from Series 3 was just so diverse. I mean, you, every time you thought you were done hitting something, we hit another one. How do I feel about Moon? <sighs> it's hard to work with. He's very loud. He likes to eat the microphone. Uh, I try to tell him, I said, Moon, you, you can't eat that microphone. And he just goes to town on it. Like, it, it was practically in his throat. It's a little ridiculous, to be honest. Like, I don't get what the hubbub is about him. Uh, moon from the bottom of my heart. 
I'm really glad that uh, you know Coins is doing well for you on whatnot. Um, stop fucking up my workspace. Go fuck yourself. Off camera, of course. <laughs> oh, I love him. He's cool. He's the shit. He's a nice guy. He's he's genuine. He's cool. I mean, I get along with him, but fuck that guy, man. Fuck him, dude. Off camera, fuck that guy. Fucking piece of shit, man. I tried getting him to get me Runza yesterday. Fucking asshole said no and comes in with Runza. Who does that shit? I don't fucking know. Some bitch. <laughs> Fucker. Shout out to my man BQ for hitting this coin. Um, we tried to hit a lot of all box chases in the past, and this one was just so iconic. I mean, if there was a chase to be hit, this was the one. Guys, I want you all to know this event would not have been possible without Trader B and Carney Coin Center. Make sure you guys go follow them on Whatnot and Instagram. They also have a company called Bison Bullion. Um, they partnered with us this break. We don't know who had the, the key box, but whoever did, um, it was a partner event. So we really appreciate them. I also want to give a huge shout out to Whatnot for such an amazing platform. If you guys are not on the Whatnot app, Make sure you go over to that link in our bio, save $10 off your first purchase and go over there and get on Whatnot Coins and Bullying because it is one of the best communities ever. And finally, huge, huge, huge shout out to Vaultbox. This is their third product they released to the public in the last year and since February, they've just been killing it. I mean, this is, this product gave me a little bit of, I was feeling a little different about it because it was only one coin. But honestly, the price point was right. Everyone did a great job. And the, the, the diversity of this product outweighed every single other product they put out. So it was awesome. What?